Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going through what I recently purchased from Sigma. Um, I waited over a month for this, so I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, first, I'm going to show you the Sigma Extreme Structure Contour Brush. This is the F04 and it looks like that. So I'm going to be contouring today. As you can see, I've only done my brows and my foundation. So I'm going to be using that. And also, I got the Sigma Girl Colourpop Collection in the Pretty in Peach. It comes in this cute little tin. And then it's got all of that inside. So I'm going to be trying that out today. And I also got the Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Glove. Um, I cannot wait to use this. I have so many brushes and when I go to wash them, I hate it and I dread it and I literally put it off for as long as possible but with this I feel like it's going to be a lot easier um if you're wanting a video on how I clean my brushes just leave a comment down below and let me know I'm more than happy to do that for you and I also got the little stand just to keep my brushes in place instead of lining them up all along the benches in my bathroom so you pretty much just put them through bottom and then it'll clip in and it'll hold its form so i'm going to get right into it using my new sigma brush and i'm going to contour my face and then i'm going to go in and try the color pop collection so stay tuned guys okay so you all know i always use the hula benefit bronzer to contour so I'm just going to be using this. Now I thought this would be a lot smaller. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. And I was going to use it to contour the sides of my nose, but we could try. So this brush is quite firm. Like it looks nice and fluffy, but it is quite firm. Hence the structured contouring brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks really good on camera, but you can't actually see that in person. Okay, I would say that's pretty structured. Wow. My cheekbones look incredible right now. Okay, so now I'm going to try contour the size of my nose with this really big brush. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> so it's pretty big and fluffy. So I'm just going to pinch like that and make it a lot thinner. That works heaps better. And I'm just going to let it go just to blend it out. So that is nose contouring done. It was a little hard with this big fluffy one, but if you didn't have anything else, which I didn't bring out today, I just pinch and it makes that nice narrow line just to get right in there and you just buff it out. So this is an amazing brush, especially for cheekbones. As you can see, it contoured really well. Um, and now I'm going to get on to the Colourpop collection. Okay, so in this collection, it's called the Sigma Girl Colourpop Collection Pretty in Peach. Included in the kit is two eyeshadows in Tangy and Fresh. So that's these ones. Then we've got a Halo Dust in Juicy. So that's this one. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, then you get one lip gloss in Saucy. I don't really wear lip gloss, guys. I don't know how this is going to go. And you get a little key ring that says Sigma Girl on it. And you also get one spotlight powder in Sweet Thing. So I'm going to be, I'm going to try and use all of this today. Whether I'm going to like it is a different story. So I'm going to go in my crease with the darker one. So I am assuming that is the fresh color. 
because on the back it's got it in the darker writing. So, I'm going to be using my Morphe G24 again, my amazing crease blending brush. You guys know I love it. And today I'm not putting on a neutral base all over the lid because I don't really have one in this collection. Okay, so that's the fresh color. That's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. And this is now the third time I'm going over it. Okay, so that is my crease done. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of the fresh on my lid, and then I'm going to go over it with the juicy halo dust. Okay, so I just wet my brush, and now I'm gonna go in with the halo dust. It's just so it helps stick better. This is kind of a red orange, like a blood orange color. See how this goes on. Oh, as the light reflects on it, it changes color. That's amazing. That's wow. So it's like a metallic. Holy shit. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but as I move, so does the color gold. Wow. Good job, Colourpop and Sigma. That is insane. I'm gonna be going like this all day. Do I like these colors in me? I don't know. I feel like Katniss from the Hunger Games and like the girl on fire, with like the orange, red, and gold. That's, that's what I feel like right now. Okay, um, so I've finished using the hair dust. Now I'm going to go back in with the tangy color. And I'm just going to be putting that in the corners because they don't really have anything at the moment. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that tangy, no tangy, fresh, fresh um, on my lower lash line. So I've just popped a little bit of gel liner on the top and I've just put some mascara on as you can see and I am obsessed at how they change colour. Ah, oh, I actually can't believe it. Now I'm probably really late on the bandwagon for this one as well like I was with the NARS last week. But I honestly, I just, I can't get it right. Maybe it's because I'm a matte person, not a shimmer or metallic person. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna go in with the Spotlight Powder. Now this is called Sweet Thing. I don't usually wear a blush that isn't matte. Uh, see how this goes. Guys, I can't see anything. But it is definitely like a highlighter and a blush in one. I am going to put my Sephora blush underneath and then pop this on top and maybe that'll help with the color. Okay, so I've just popped my Sephora blush on. As you can see, it's already there. Now I'm gonna go over it with the Sweet Thing. Don't know if I'm a fan of the sweet thing. Hmm. Um. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna use my Sephora blush and then I'll just use my Anastasia highlighter. Okay, so I've just put some highlighter on my cheeks. Um, in my little corners, in my tear ducts. 
and it's on my lips. Now I'm going to go in with the Saucy Lip Gloss. Guys, I hate lip gloss. Ugh, look at that. Wish me luck. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, that is it. Um, it's actually not as sticky as I thought it would be, which is amazing. Because I hate sticky lip gloss, and it came out really like gluggy, made that sound um, when I pulled the wand out. But it's actually not that bad. This is actually really nice and really comfortable. Yes, Colourpop. Um, that's it, really. That's all it's in there. And this cute little Sigma Girl keychain. I might even put that on my keys. I have like a million key rings, but oh well. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, the only thing I wasn't the biggest fan of was the Spotlight Powder. So that is all for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me try out the new... I don't even know if it's new. It's probably old because I got it as a freebie because I spent so much at Sigma. <laughs> um, it's new to me. Anyways, the Sigma Girl Colourpop Collection in Pretty in Peach. Um, anyways, if you're wanting to see a video on how I clean my brushes using the Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Glove or how I put it all the way in the stand or anything like that, um, just leave a comment below. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'm actually really liking the lip gloss. I don't wear lip gloss. I'm really liking it. Weird, huh? So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye guys.